Today we are prepping the barn and getting ready to go pick up Diesel's new friend. As many of you know on my Instagram, AJ did go home, which I'm so excited for him about, but at the same time I do miss him. He was seriously a sweet, sweet soul. You guys know Nemo, but this is Hemi. He's my boyfriend's dog and he is a complete goofball. And with the empty stall here, Diesel is so lonely and it breaks my heart because he is one of those horses that just hates to be alone. I mean, I'm sure all horses do, but he really just does not take it well at all. So I'm very excited to be picking up his friend today and so is he. He doesn't even know, but it's fine. Then I go into my normal feeding routine and this is a time lapse, but this is about as quickly and chaotic as I do it because every horse is screaming at me like they want to kill me, which they probably do, but it's fine. And then they get their warm breakfast mash and they're happy and they sort of love me for the next like 10 minutes until they're hungry again. And Hemi is still learning about horses and sometimes he just does his happy dance and has a little freak out, but then he's good again and it's fine. After finishing morning barn chores and staring at the baby goat way too long and making sure that Hemi didn't eat baby goat, because he wants to very badly, I went ahead and hooked up my horse trailer to my truck, which we will later find out that that was a bad decision, but it's fine. But I hooked that all up, got all that secured, and then I threw a hay net up for the horse, and we cleaned up the trailer a little bit and made room, and we were on our way pretty quickly. I gave the dogs some rewards for their hard work this morning and put them back in my house because they are terrible backseat drivers and then I was on my way and this is where things went south, honestly. I got a little bit into my drive and the barn was only 15 minutes away before we realized that my truck was blowing up so I called my mechanic boyfriend, sent him this video of it revving and trying to die. We did end up getting it figured out, but it's not something that we could fix in that moment without Robbie being there. So we determined it was unsafe for me to be hauling a horse with it at that moment until it got fixed. So I went ahead and unhooked my truck and hooked up my dad's truck. Thank goodness he was home and was generous enough to let me drive his truck. I know it's his baby. It's a beautiful, I believe 2019 F350 and I love driving it. It's like driving an airplane. And my mom decided that she wanted to come with me because she didn't get to do horse activities as much anymore and she missed it. So she came with me and finally with my dad's truck we were on the way and someone please tell him to wash his truck by the way. When I got there Hunter had a lot of jumps that we were going to be able to use at the barn which is fantastic. So I helped her load those into the trailer which was pretty funny us trying to figure out how to get things in there I'm not going to lie. And then we got Mr. Dixon. This is Dixon. He is a beautiful Dutch warm blood and he belongs to Hunter and he's going to be boarding with us and he'll be Diesel's stall and turnout buddy and they're going to be best friends. I already know it. They seriously share the same brain. But Hunter has done amazing things with Dixon and I seriously recommend you guys check out her Instagram. I will link it in the description. So we got him to the barn safely, everything was fine, he loaded and hauled great.
After the complete chaos of the morning of everything breaking, everything with the horses went so, so smoothly and I'm so happy to see Diesel so happy. And finally it was time to feed again. So we got everything prepped, got Dixon and Diesel inside and settled in their stalls and they were so happy. No fireworks, nothing exciting. And then it was just time to blanket and wrap everybody up for the night. And everything has gone smoothly since then and seriously could not be happier for these boys.